Hello Capricorn, welcome to your love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Capricorn, this is a collective love message for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see Capricorn, what do we have for you? Show me important messages regarding love life for Capricorn, please. Show me important. Show me important messages, please, for Capricorn. Okay. All right. Someone is missing you, Capricorn. Someone is missing you. I'm getting very strongly here that in this reading we might be connecting with someone who uh, you met in your previous lifetime. This is it feels like past past life love. I'm getting that it's very strong connection. You know, this is someone here. I feel that there is love between the two of you, but with this card, it feels that I'm getting that um, there were many instances instances that this person um, was showing kind of their true colors, and I feel that. Um, It's like I'm getting that you were very in love with this individual and it's like you were dismissing the red flags, okay? And I feel that at some at some point this person made you feel rejected, okay? We have this major energy of rejection here at the bottom of the deck. This is someone who acted in a very selfish way. But uh, it's like maybe you... I feel that there is a, some sort of kind of, uh, it's a very strong connection, but it is like um, we have past life, love and true love. There is something very strongly here, um, Spirit wants to emphasize about, um, about past, past life situation that happened between the two of you and now it feels like it is resurfacing itself in 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 this uh currently mm -hmm. i feel that there is no contact situation between the two of you capricorn but this person is missing you they are longing for you but I feel that this, while you were with this person, I'm getting very strongly that it was just like so intense. The feeling of love was so overwhelming. And I'm getting that this person was from time to time showing you something here that you should have paid more attention. But I feel because you love them so much, you kind of didn't pay attention to those red flags. And I feel that at some point they did something here and they made you feel rejected or they rejected this connection it says here on this card this rejection is actually divine protection so that's very interesting but i feel that love it's there very strong and this is something also for some of you might have a soul contract i am very careful saying this because association with it in general is not very kind of, you know, positive. It can be something karmic between the two of you that has to be resolved. And it is, for instance, something, you know, that might have occurred in, in a previous life, lifetime. But the bottom line here, please take it how it resonates. It's, it's like the, the, the love it's here. The love it's there and I feel this person also they love you but um, they did something here that wasn't right 
obviously. Let's see. Let's see. Show me more about this situation. Is it something karmic here that has to be worked through between Capricorn and this person? So we have Page of Pentacles, we have a King of Pentacles. Children might be involved in this situation. We have Seven of Swords, Four of Cups, okay, Knight of Swords. Page of Cups. One more please for the situation. One more, okay. Ten of Wands. Mm -hmm. We have a Hermit. We have Justice. Four of Swords and Three of Wands. Okay. So we have Page of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Yes, that's some sort of form of a lie. It's showing up with the Seven of Swords. This is someone here who lied, who was sneaky, who was two-faced, had secrets. They were telling you something and they were acting in a different way behind your back. Mm. Not cool. Then we have this Four of Cups. Yes, this is a card of rejection. I feel that you've tried very hard to make this person very happy, but no matter what you were doing, uh, this person, it, it, it felt like it's not good enough for this person. And at the end, I'm getting that this person really acted like a brat. King of Pentacles to the Hermit. This person made you feel incredibly lonely. We have a page of pentacles to the knight of swords and seven of swords. Yeah, I feel that you, the, you're dealing here with someone who is quite, who can be quite difficult. Because seven of swords with the knight of swords is this kind of energy. Someone here who might be very manipulative. Um, and I feel this is someone who, who, who doesn't mind kind of, putting the point across, uh, I don't know, in a very kind of harsh way, momentarily. I feel this is someone who speaks before they think and they have very, very quick temper. And, you know, after this, if something like this occurred, for instance, between the two of you, um, this person uh, was coming back and was apologizing. Right. But with this page of pentacles, it's like, it's not much. But it felt like it's a lot with the king of pentacles next to it. Why? Because the feeling of love was very strong. We have justice. You might be dealing with Libra. I also have Virgo energy so far in this reading for you. So we have Justice, we have a Four of Swords, and we have Three of Wands, yes. At the moment I feel that there is no contact, especially with the Hermit at the, at the end of this reading. Then we have this Four of Swords, which is also kind of, yeah, energy of solitude as well, taking a step back in order to rethink certain things. Three of Wands, this person is um, thinking a lot, they are planning here something. Yeah, they're planning how to come forward because they feel that they need to uh, balance things out with you, Capricorn, with the justice. They treated something here, I mean, something, they treated this connection in a very unfair manner. And now they need to come back and, and balance things out with you. This is someone who uh, presented themselves that they have so much to offer. But at the end of the day, they are showing up in a page's energy. This King of Pentacles, is, it's, a, it's a facade. 
but I feel that you really love this person. And they made you kind of believe that um, they are here, you know, very, very stable, that they are all about stability. It wouldn't surprise me if this person promised you so many things, but they, 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 they didn't deliver. And it's like, I am getting very demanding energy with this King of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Yeah. Hermit. They, they know you, this is someone who knew exactly what they doing. I feel that they were very unfair, very unfair the way they treated this connection and also you, because I'm seeing you doing the whole work and all the work, 10 of wands. And at the end, it might feel that this is like a one-sided situation, relationship, connection, because again, 10 of wands, it's uh, energy that it's exhausting. It represents burdens. It represents difficulties, but it's also kind of energy that it's very, this is an energy of solitude, a one person who trying to, you know, push it, you know, push forward. And, but, but it's like, they have so much to take care of. And I feel that this is how you felt about this at the end. I feel that's how you felt. This person created obstacles and it was a hard work and it shouldn't be like this. This person wasn't supportive. They refused to help. They refused momentarily even to be nice. I'm getting. In a sense, say, for instance, them telling, thank you very much for this. I really do appreciate you, right? No, there was lack of it. It's just demand, demands, demands, demands. And no matter what you were doing, this person will, would always find a reason to kind of maybe criticize you, to, to, to comment on something. And it felt like this is not good enough, no matter what you will do. And that was these red flags. I'm getting someone who seriously manipulates you. You might be dealing here with a karmic soulmate. And that's something karmic here from a previous lifetime that now it's resurface, kind of resurface itself and it has to be worked through. But Ten of Wands indicates that this person created burden. They were hard work. I feel that at the end you felt exhausted, drained from your energy and very lonely with all this responsibilities, burden, and, and essentially very lonely regarding this whole situation. And it wouldn't surprise me that you would, f you, you would feel that this is a, it was like a one-sided relationship when you were doing the one, the all whole work. And this person was just metaphorically saying, you know, sitting and watching TV, right? Let's see. Let's see this person's feelings. Show me this person's feelings. Could you please show me this person's feelings towards Capricorn? Could you please show me this person's feelings towards Capricorn, please? Swords. All right. So, Capricorn, you might be dealing with Aquarius with the star. They feelings. Ten of Swords. Queen of Swords. Two of Wands, and the star. At the bottom of the deck, we have a Five of Swords. Mm -hmm. Mind games. This is someone who likes to play mind games. We have a Ten of Swords. This person feels defeated though. With the Queen of Swords. They know that they messed things up. They know that they emotionally hurt you. 
but there is this kind of energy of that it's like you see that's the thing with the five of swords i feel this is someone who is now kind of um not thinking no this person knows exactly what they were doing but it 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 backfired big time and with the ten of swords it's like they feel being defeated at the end of the day because they are longing for you they are missing you meaning that for for a lot of you as a collective uh, you are you are not in contact right you are not in touch with this individual queen of swords to the two of wands this is someone who is planning and with the star they are full of hope that things can be healed between the two of you but with this queen of swords this person feels that you are embodying this energy of queen of swords and um that you might be let's say annoyed and angry with them and the thing is that you have a perfect right to be because of how they treated this connection and you and your feelings this is someone who might feel actually that you're done with them and maybe that's the case because queen of swords is very assertive energy it's straight to the point um it's no bs policy that's queen of swords policy no bs because she possessed the clarity and as soon as someone here is trying to play mind games she she doesn't have as an energy of course she doesn't have a uh, have a problem this energy doesn't have a problem to cut someone off or to detach and this is how this person feels that because of what happened this very very painful ending that happened between the two of you emotionally painful ending you are you have enough but they still hold on hold, hold it holding on to a uh, hope that they that at some point um this connection can be healed two of wands this is someone who's observing you though they are planning here how to come forward mm -hmm. but at the moment i feel that yeah I, we have this five of swords here i don't like this energy because in their feelings this is someone here who is still trying to or thinking how to come forward or how to it's not like a sneak sneak back in because we don't have seven of swords we have here but with the five of swords i feel this is someone here who wants to uh, maybe um, have an excuse to communicate with you and it's like a sneaky energy sneaky um, maybe it is actually a sneaky energy because this person is is it's not fully transparent it, it would be a completely different if they try to kind of you know come forward and and be authentic with you but with this five of swords this is mind game this is energy of mind games and it's like this person is trying to find the reason um to kind of communicate with you it's a little bit of a trick you in order for them to be in touch with you that's what i am getting this is someone who wants to kind of um uh who wants to find out if you are willing to even talk to them but it's like they are trying to come with some sort of master plan which is completely unnecessary but this person at the end of the day i can tell you here one thing capricorn that they feel defeated this is someone who is not uh who, who's not having a good time even if they portrayed something else for instance on the social media or they telling their friends that they know you and these friends are telling you this is not true this is someone who feels defeated and who is uh, holding on to hope that things can work out between the two of you show me this person's actions towards capricorn show me please this person's actions towards capricorn because this five of swords is here we have six of pentacles we have a five of swords this, could you 
please show me this person's actions towards Capricorn. We're talking about actions. We have Eight of Souls and we have the Sun. We have Seven of Cups. I, you might be dealing with Leo. Capricorn, I tell you here one thing. Don't dismiss the red flags when this person will approach you or reach out because they will. We have this Five of Swords here next to the Six of Pentacles. This is someone when they reach out and they will, um, will try to show themselves from a different side. It's like they would want it to present themselves that they are a different person. With the Six of Pentacles, this is someone who will be very attentive who might pay you lots of compliments. They will be very generous with their time and with their affection. But with the Five of Swords, next to the Eight of Swords and the Sun, this is someone who is very, very selfish. Because this Sun energy, which without a doubt, it's, it's very, very positive. It's very beautiful. But when it's aspected in a certain way, it can represent a very, very selfish energy. And that's what they bring in here. This is someone who might even tell you that they've changed. They haven't. Mm -mm. We have a five of swords and eight of swords. Still playing mind games. Being manipulative. Eight of swords. They stuck in that habit. This is someone who is stuck in their habit. And with the sun next to it, because they are selfish. This is someone who is selfish. That's why we have this, this card. And it says also in this card, don't dismiss the red flags here. So if this person indeed will start claiming that they've changed, or you've kind of will see that they are extra attentive, they haven't been like this in the past uh, or before, um, and they might be telling you, you know, it's, it's I, I had this kind of time to think about this whole situation. I understand where I made a mistake. Things will be different. Uh, I won't be like this. I don't see them apologizing for their actions here. They might kind of made you feel that they are apologizing. You're dealing here with someone who's very manipulative and they know exactly what to say in order to pull the heartstrings, your heartstrings. I've changed. It's different. No, it's not. No, it's not with the Eight of Swords. And I need to be honest here with you. This person will make you feel very good, but it's not permanent. because they haven't changed. They are still playing their mind games. Because they are showing up here as someone who is very, very, very selfish. You might be dealing here with someone who has narcissistic traits. I am quite, you know, mm, um, careful saying those things uh, because, they, because they can be very misused, but um, there is there can be some sort of kind of mischaracterization. Uh, but of course it can be a case because this is a very odd behavior it's just it's like this person likes playing games and they you know they like it they like the game but indeed it, it you know I'm also not a professional but it of course it might be a case that someone here that you are dealing and we are connecting in this reading for you might have those narcissistic traits very self-centered very kind of egoistical energy is showing up and at the bottom of the deck we have a seven of cups this is someone who feels that you might have options in love and you know it might be very well true but it doesn't mean that you are paying attention or you are even interested in them right but um, that's why they kind of motivated here to come forward but with the Seven of Cups as an overall energy, this is someone who's bringing enormous amount of uncertainty and lack of clarity. Illusions, Seven of Cups. That's what they, that's how this, kind, this, this person's actions uh, can be actually defined. I feel this is someone who brought, who at the very beginning confused you and that's what 
they want to do and why want to say they want to do because we have this fighting source and that's what i was getting that in their feelings they wanted to create some sort of kind of master plan in order to come forward they are planning here and they will take action they will reach out to confuse you why because this is someone who tried to show you that they are different that they've changed that things will be completely different at this time but this is a illusion they haven't changed they are still stuck in their ways manipulations because they like the game this is someone who likes who likes being like this and they feel that they don't want to change it makes them happy sun it's a happiness eight of swords it's this kind of energy of you know being feeling being stuck but this is a mindset this person can change can detach from that mindset very easily they just need to make a decision but they don't want to make a decision because they feel that it's okay they like it they like it they like the game and seven of cups also may indicate uh, that this person likes to keep their options open i don't like that i don't like this energy capricorn and i get that you know you might have feelings for this person but i'm getting here that you are dealing with someone who i don't know who treated this connection in a quite appalling way show me the outcome for this situation please maybe that's why we have this rejection this rejection is actually divine protection we have a ten of wands we have a four of pentacles and we have the hanged man hierophant at the bottom of the deck you might be dealing capricorn with pisces i also have taurus energy well this person here wants a higher level of commitment but you have to also understand i'm getting that it's very important for you to understand that this is, is someone who i feel that you know that i don't really need to tell you that um they like to dominate and it's like they're coming from the place that they know better you know they treated this connection like a, some sort of kind of um, um teacher student kind of dynamics very odd very very odd we have a ten of wands a four of pentacles and the hanged man okay okay spirit we'll do that thank you this is an outcome and i do it very very rarely okay but what i am seeing here capricorn that if you take this person back Uh, this feeling of being exhausted, tired, will stay as it was before, because we have the Ten of Wands. With the Four of Pentacles, nothing here will change, next to the Hanged Man. It's like you, you're going to repeat the same cycle with this person. And if you resonate with this message, if you feel that this is your message, then a spirit here is pointing out this rejection is actually divine protection because i'm getting that they will reach out that they will want to charm the way to you this person will tell you things and they know exactly how to pull your heartstrings because they also know that you have feelings for them but this is someone also who is very selfish regarding love it's like they love themselves, they have feelings for you, this person is missing you, they're missing your attention because deeply inside in their heart they feel defeated at the moment, that this thing terribly backfired and they want to be back to your life. But spirit is showing if you take this person back and decided to be in a higher level of commitment with them, you will repeat the cycle with them. With the Ten of Wands, you will be doing the whole work. The situation within time will start being exhausting. It will bring an anxiety, stress, tiredness, and it feels like it will be a one-sided situation, as you felt before, because we had this energy before. 
we have a four of pentacles. Yeah, someone who is incredibly stubborn, doesn't want to do the work, who can be very lazy and who can be also quite penny. You know what I mean? Someone who doesn't like to spend a lot, someone who is very careful about finances and they want someone greedy I'm getting. It's 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 and with the hangman it's like nothing will change. This is like an advice from the from from the spirit. That's why we have don't dismiss the red flags. This rejection that happened here is actually divine protection. And I don't dispute here the fact that, you know, you feel this connection. You love this person. And at some point, this person, you, you felt that this person loved you. But there's something, there's something about the past from the previous lifetime. And for some of you, this is some sort of kind of thing that has to be worked through. Um, something karmic here. Or you're dealing here with karmic soulmate. Mm -hmm. Essentially with this outcome, spirit is pointing out that if you decided to take this person back and be in a in a in a in an established relationship, within time you will feel very burdened, exhausted, tired. You will be by your own doing all the work. And this person will be just sitting, again, sitting and watching TV, right? Being lazy, not putting much work because four of pentacles, it's, this is no action. This, this is, that, that represents a situation where someone is very stubborn. They don't like compromise and they don't want to compromise. They feel entitled. And they are holding back with the four of pentacles and hangman it's like a dot at the end of the sentence and it's also a card yes this is a change of perspective and spirit kind of is showing here that everything needs moderation regarding this connection but this person is unwilling to do that they don't want to compromise because they don't see that they are at fault here that it's not their fault that they are you know it's okay that they are like this this is someone who just doesn't want to take responsibility and and be held accountable for their actions. They don't see that they're doing anything, anything wrong. More, they like the game, they like it. But in this case, nothing here will change. So there is something here to take, you know, into consideration when this person will reach out, approach you, or try to charm you. For some of you, I feel that you will reject this person because you actually remember big time how they made you feel and with four of pentacles i feel that you know and the hanged man it can be a case that you know this person will be quite persistent they would they would they will try to kind of uh, charm you they will send they will start sending you lots of messages but i feel that with the four of pentacles and the hanged man it's like no mm -mm, i'm not having it no i'm done because I feel that at the end of the day with the Hierophant, you are all about stability. You want stable, loving, normal, um, just nice, higher level of commitment with someone. But it feels like this person is unable to give you that. And um, it is something here to kind of, you know, to take into consideration. Of course, everyone has a free will and decision it's yours of course capricorn but this is a very strong message from the spirit they are strongly here pointing out that this rejection is actually divine protection when this person will approach don't dismiss the red flags you know don't rush into things and there is a possibility very strongly as an outcome that if you take this person back you will essentially repeat the same cycle as before because this is someone who hasn't changed they might be telling you this trying to convince you giving you some sort of examples or you know from time to time trying to kind of prove it to you but at the end of the day nothing changed here this is someone who who, who is very manipulative and they they feel that they don't need to change but 
you can be reassured here that this person will reach out because they are they are longing for you they are missing you they are missing your attention they are missing your care of course absolutely someone who cares a lot who is very caring loving uh, nurturing and suddenly you don't have this energy right around you 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 of course it's only natural that you will you will start missing it but um, I feel this is someone who took your kindness for weakness. They treated this connection appallingly. And it's very visible here in this reading. Now they want to come back, trying to charm their way back to you. Hmm. Of course, again, the decision is yours, Capricorn. You know, it's, 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 it's yours. Everybody has a free will, but um, advice from the spirit is to to think twice, let's say, about the situation, or think twice before you make a final decision to take this person back, because that's what they're coming with. This is what they want. That's that's what they want. They're coming with this energy of you taking them back. So before that, I feel when I look at this reading, it is advisable to kind of think twice and before making a final decision okay Capricorn I will leave it here thank you so so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and once again thank you very much for your time I truly appreciate you Capricorn have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day and once again thank you very much for being with me love and light till next time take care bye